Hi, this is Mike Stevenson from Interrail Consulting. I want to talk about drill through from smart view to data management. Um, so let's talk about the source file. The source file has some dimensionality, account, company, department, et cetera, but it also has some additional uh, information in it, like the, the name, the journal entry number, source, um, vendor, description. It also has uh, the invoice number and description in it and a date. So those are uh, additional information that I want to include in a drill through result. So a drill through is when you have a user that can drill down into a hierarchy and um, get to a certain level and right click, ask for a drill through and additional information is listed um, based on a query to data management. So setting it up, we have target application. Here you can see the different dimensions. Um, there's a setting here for drill region and this should typically be set to no. So um, you don't wanna continually create a new drill region uh, and typically you just wanna set one up initially and then you can edit it to get it the way you want it to be going forward. So I'm gonna set up a uh, drill region as no and enable drill from summary, yes. That means the user can go to a parent level uh, and then drill from there instead of having to go uh, all the way to the base level. So let's assume that I've already run an initial drill region. So the default is um, period, scenario, version, and years. So when I set this to yes, it's going to set uh, dimension details. It's gonna check these boxes for me and it's gonna create a default. So I already have one, uh, so we don't need that to happen. Now, if you have additional uh, requirements for the drill region. So for example, I could check account, but I suggest you don't unless there's some exception, like you want to exclude base level accounts that represent payroll details or something like that, that you wanna exclude from the drill region. You could do that. Um, but in most cases, you don't wanna check any of these boxes um, for future, uh, loads, data loads. So let's just assume that we've created an additional definite, uh, an initial definition. So let's look at that right now. In Calc Manager database properties, if I right click on the database, drill through definitions, you can see that I actually have a custom definition here. You can edit it. So right here, it starts out the the, the default would give you the year of the data file that you loaded, the month, then actual and final uh, based on the data you've submitted. So I changed it to I dis, or, uh, descendants of years and relative zero of year total, which is periods. So that way any year or period that I load of this trial balance data would be uh, available for drill through without having to create another region. So it makes it a lot less confusing and uh, it's all that's necessary. So import format, that file that I have has additional information, like I said, other than dimensionality. So when I go to set up the source columns, I you know, add the definitions for the dimensions. I, I call out the field number. So there's a count, amount. Those are right out of the box. What appears here when you actually create a import format, but then you have to use um, the add and attribute, attribute row and description row to add the additional information. So you just click on add, you type in, um, year in this case, and it's an attribute, you can see off to the right. So attribute one is year, attribute two is date, attribute three is period, general entry number, source, invoice, 
vendor name, uh, continue scrolling down here, channels of dimension, but there's actually no information for channel in this particular file. So I just select the first field number and I hard code in no channel. Um, then there's company, department. These are dimensions. Uh, name is a description. So that's in field 10 in the data file. And I just bring that in as uh, additional information. Vendor is a dimension. And then version is not in the source file. So I hard code final. All right, then I save that. And then we go to the workflow. I'm sorry, let's not do that yet. Let's go to the rule. So in the rule, there's another opportunity to add a drill region. And if you do that, you'll get the default. Um, if you're not going to have one that's, you know, a standard one that you're going to reproduce all the time, you could add the first one here and then save it again with no here. Um, so then you go ahead and execute and it runs and then you get to the the workbench and you can see that you have your import and validation and your export that means it's gone through data management and it's residing now in the database that you have as a target um we can scroll to the right here and you can see all the dimensionality if you want to be able to see the drill through data you can select columns and show all and that's going to display all those attribute columns as well. And then you can also see the description type columns. So that's all the information that you need there. So now if I go to my drill through, this is my drill through example. I'm actually at a parent level. I'm looking at actual final and FY20 and November. So that is defined in my drill region. So if I go back to here, I right click, drill through definitions, you can see I have the years, the months, actual and final. So if I right click and drill through here, go to smart view, hit drill through, I can actually get and I'll select a new sheet. And then I see all these different details that um, are provided within my flat file that I loaded. So journal entry, source, name, vendor, invoice, all that. And this is, you know, additional information on top of after drilling through or after drilling down into my hierarchy to a certain level. All right, that's my quick overview of drill through. Uh, thank you for your time and have a good day.